here in October 2024 and just planted yesterday before some very heavy rain. Stokesia is blooming next to uh, what is likely to be the smaller sunflower I grew from seed this year. Even primrose are still producing some flowers while the berries of Cotone Aster stand out with some nice red colour and liquid amber is also taking on some nice autumn colour and this tree is uh, here about 10 years now being the first planted in the garden. Also with nice autumn colour is this uh, Virginia creeper. Growing up uh, crab apple, which has a good crop of fruit this year. Gladioli. It's still not looking great. While well, I see them here, it's also after blooming. It's probably a bit too shaded here where it's growing. Red stem dogwood. Starting to show its uh, winter colour. And also uh, basil mint. It's just started to bloom. Pheasant berry continues to produce some flowers while also having berries. Some clover has some flowers and also uh, chamele chamomile. Which has self seeded verbena also growing here. Along with uh, self seeded oak trees. Wild rose hips have some good colour. Fuji cherry, Hojinomai has some good autumn colour to its leaves. Although here it's uh, outshined by the bright leaves of a uh, purple leaf variety of Barbary. So with some winter fruit, it's a purple-leafed elderflower. The uh, more common aster I have is reaching the end of its flowering now. Well, a bunch here that I think uh, were a pot of three different varieties that I got from a clearance shelf. Still retain the three different colours and bloom a bit later than the other asters I have. A melanchia has a nice autumn colour to its leaves. Also with some nice autumn colour. Although he is almost fully dropped now. This is Saronia. And with some late season second flowering, this is Cianotus.